we, I don't know if you, of course, unless you've been living in a cave, you've seen the mayor of San Diego. He's having some trouble. He's been nine women now accusing him of sexual harassment, and it's really bad sexual. Anyway, he gave a press conference. He had a couple of uh, mea culpas to give us. The behavior I have engaged in over many years is wrong. My failure to respect women and the intimidating contact I engage in at times is inexcusable. Uh, it's inexcusable, but in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to excuse it anyway. Because <laughs> I ain't fucking quitting, because Bob Filder's got some bills. Yeah. When I won the election, I overextended a weenty bit, so I can't quit. That's what this is about, right? What do you think? It kind of. Well, I, I hate to correct you, too. Oh, you, okay. you said nine women. It's actually ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's ten now. Oh. Now that we've started. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. just happened. They keep coming. Um, no, oddly enough, there is a, a tenth woman, apparently, and she said that... Um, he said that she was beautiful. Mm -hmm. He said, um, are you married? Uh -huh. I'd really like to take you out sometime. And that was inappropriate, Jimmy. <laughs> that was really over the line. He did it at a, at a breakfast outside the office, and now she's complaining. And so you have to wonder about, like, how many of these complaints are, are actually, like, him doing something bad or... People just hopping on board, being like, no, 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 he's a terrible oh, you're, person. So you're saying the 10th one, that's kind of a pile-on guy? Just yeah, yeah, I mean, I think women are coming out of the woodwork now going, yeah. oh, that guy talked to me, and I think he made eyes at me, so I'm, I'm going to complain as well. Oh, I see. It's like when uh, when I found out that the uh, Apple computer cords were defective and they were giving money, I went, mine's effective, yeah. too. It's like terrible that. cord. Yeah, I need some money. Right. That, that happened. Are they defective? You missed no. it. It's passed. <laughs> it's an old thing. It already passed. So, now, I'm fascinated by the woman standing to his left. Because that woman looks like she's about to do a spit take. <laughs> it's unbelievable. She's looking there. Like, I mean, it's hysterical. I think he's trying to uh, have sex with her while he's on camera. No. What is my voice doing? I don't um, know. Anyway, but no, but I, you know, like Steve and I were talking, there, there might be uh, a coach now who coaches these politicians about how to come out to the media about your sexuality. I really think that's the best job in the in the business now. Yeah, because I, you have so much. You, there's so much work. Yeah, there's it's never work. ending. Every yeah. day, phones ringing off the hook. Every day, you don't even know it. It's like the pot stores. You don't have to advertise. They just show up, right? <laughs> Every day. Yeah. Every day, these guys are coming out. And the first thing is, okay, now put your head but, down. Now look like yeah, you're yeah. ashamed. And it's funny right. the word. They all kind of use the same wording too. It's inexcusable. It was my my conduct was well. Watch how he talks about his conduct. I am responsible for my conduct and I must take responsibility for my conduct by taking action so that such conduct does not ever happen again. So what now here's the, pro here's the problem. He's yeah. speaking about his conduct as if it's another person. Right, right, right. It's like, right. no, no. It's you, another entity. He's like, my con believe me, folks, I'm as pissed off about my conduct as anybody. I walked <laughs> into my office the other day, my conduct was finger banging somebody. <laughs> but it, but it's, it's inexcusable. It's inexcusable. It's inexcusable. Here, here's the pre-production <laughs> meeting with the coach. Distance yourself from your own conduct. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's yeah, number yeah, yeah. one. Yes. Right. Number two, don't ever look at anybody. Yeah. Right. Always look down like yes. you're ashamed. Yes. yes. And number three, there's a lady on your left. She's going to have Maybe. a spit take. Right. right. And you're not the problem. You have a problem. Yes. Right? So right. you yeah. need to go to treatment. That's what it is. You're not the problem. America forgives yeah. mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember. Yeah, he's going to go into sexual rehab for two weeks, and I just hope he doesn't bump into any nurses. Am I right? Ladies, <laughs> hello. Because if they're pretty, it's going to be a... No I think <laughs> he has lost the public trust, though, Mayor Filner. I think it's time he sexually harasses women in the private sector. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it private. Talk to Chris Matthews. Keep it private. <laughs> You know, why else, why, else would you, why else would you become the mayor unless you unless to meet women? Well, yeah, every politician, every politician, every professional athlete, every yes. every man Musician. who's been like, I need to be at the top of the heap so that I can pick any woman I want. Yes. Right. So I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they get there and they're married and people go, really? He cheated? Oh, how terrible. <laughs> How ter yeah, what do you think he was swinging nine iron for 18 hours a day for? J Jimmy Stewart was the last, the last honest guy and he was in a movie and it was called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Look it up! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like, uh, exactly. exactly. That's, I mean, even- it was a fictitious character, so that's even yeah. worse. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have a hook. Yeah, so why, does it, why doesn't the mayor of- I don't know why you're not pointing at the camera. You're yeah. pointing at the monitor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So everybody else go myself. away. Who, who's he pointing, I'm pointing at? Pointing at myself. Well, do it there. Because I'm trying to tell me to, to lighten up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how that would This be. guy. That gentleman. <laughs> Were you going to say something on I, your program I, here? I, I was going to say something about, you, you're making the point about how 
men get into everything to be the top of the heap to cheat on women. It's like, can't the mayor of San Diego have the same sexual mores as, uh, I don't know. The governor. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I know. mean, I don't know. It's like the everyone. John F. Kennedy, uh, Bruce Roosevelt, in a freaking wheelchair. Well, how far yeah. do you go down the list when, you know, before it doesn't become important anymore? Yeah. Like, you, my, my mailman had an affair, and you know, yeah. enough people die, he's president. <laughs> Right. So my mailman shouldn't die. be cheating. Enough people die. Enough people die. Can and I you, ask you just a question? Sure. What, what if we were talking about only good news? Do you think anybody would watch? No. No, I don't, I, first of all, there isn't any. And number two, <laughs> I have a good news divining rod. And it was, I was waiting for Bob Phil, because you, know, you talk about this, how all powerful men have this problem, and then we act like it's always, there's horrible people. Like Bob Filner's gonna go, my conduct was horrible, this is in, inexcusable, it was so bad, it was almost as bad as Martin Luther King or John F. Kennedy. I'm not sure how bad I got. <laughs> I mean, they're all, I mean, Jesus Christ, who doesn't? Jesus Christ. Bill Clinton. It wasn't Jesus as bad Christ as Bill Dick. Clinton. I didn't actually uh, come, but uh, I tried. I tried to get into a situation. I mean, shouldn't somebody come on the air and just make a statement and just say, by the way, I don't know if you knew this or not, but people in the public eye, they're human. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody's human, okay? Let's change the channel now. Yeah. Well, going back to what you said about all good news all the time, because it was all bad news all the time, I feel like we have to create controversies and make things up. And if it was all good news all the time, I think people would pick up that it's bullshit. Yeah. But as is, people go, no, that's true. I'd rather get worked up. Yeah. Well, CBS had a show years ago called The Co uh, Coast to Coast, and it was all about good news stories, and it lasted two weeks. And it was like the best <laughs> show I've ever two seen. Two minutes at the, the best, show, the best <laughs> show I've ever seen. Best show I've ever seen. Coast to Coast. Coast to Coast. Never Prime heard time. of it. Prime time. Oh, you know what? I heard that show got canceled. I heard that. Yeah. I didn't hear about it, though. It did get canceled. They kept it private. 